Hey, I'm back real quick. Um, I was talking about uh, magnetizing the uh, grot. Well, I put a little 16th inch by a, a 32nd inch um, magnet in his foot, and I put an eighth by 132nd uh, inch magnet, excuse me, in the uh, top of the uh, battle wagon. And then I did that little technique I did like on the um, boss pole. I got a piece of plastic card and some uh, the rod, drilled some holes, glued it through, then sanded it down on the back side there. And then we so have nice rivets and it actually kind of really matches that nicely. Actually, I wanted to sand it down a little bit more. They're nice and flat. Excuse me while I do that. So I get a nice coat on, or a smooth uh, finish and get those because the rivets went all the way through. Probably next time I'd probably put it on first, drill, drill the rivets in and uh, do it that way. And so then just get a little bit of a of the model master's uh, glue here. A couple drops. And there we go. We have a nice panel. It kind of it looks like it belongs there, especially after it gets primed. And then uh, we have no uh, magnets sticking out of the top because you know how some of the paint wears off when you put magnets back on and forth. And there you go. So that was a quick little thing uh, to share with you. And uh, thank you for joining me. And we'll, um, I don't know what else we got to do this before we prime it. I'm just thinking, I keep thinking a little more things before I start hitting this with paint and I wanted to get him on there and I think that is it I think the next step will be priming this bad boy so I'll let this uh, dry overnight and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for joining hey I'm back um, it's doing more magnetizing I got the the, uh, the little um, gunman all magnetized in feet I got uh, 1 8 by uh, 132nd inch magnets in their feet and in the bottom of the uh, um, battle wagon. And then I got those other two extra guys all magnetized and ready to go. I might have to fix that one over there. And got that one go ready to go. I found a couple rocket launches. As you see, it's got an arm on it and a hand. So I cut the arm out already and I'm trimming the hand out, sanding it down slowly. And I'm gonna have to get some, go into the bit box and fit some kind of you know firing mechanism. And also, where's my other guy at? They all have some kind of shield. And um, where is that at? As you can see right there, um, I'm gonna have to build some kind of shield. Even like these guys that come with the uh, battle wagon have a uh, shooting shield on their guns. And I'm gonna probably have to design something. And I'm going to go into the bottom of the battle wagon and uh, get that plastic card. I might even make shields out of uh, thicker plastic card to see how that goes. So uh, that is our quick update. Let's make this a part three, I believe. I'm just trying to keep these really short and sweet and keep everyone up to date and something that you don't waste your time. And uh, have some fun doing this. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I, this is still uh, an extension of part three. <clears throat> I did this magnetizing in the bo bottoms. Uh, for the um, uh, the gunners to stand, so I wanted to hide the magnets. So I took some uh, <clears throat> plastic card, just some plain plastic card, and some uh, diamond plate plastic card, and I laid it in there. Instead of doing what I did up here and just putting it in, drying it, sanding it down, and laying it in, I laid it in first and drilled it. Like this one's finished already. I got those cut down, nice bolts. They look, you know, very uh, uh, to scale with what's going on in the. Uh, uh, battle wagon itself. These are just been put in ready to cut and this side's ready to cut. I just pre-cut the uh, rods Take some tweezers. Oops, just lost one Let me show you how I do this real quick then I'll leave it from there and we'll end this part I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the end of here just to get a little drop on the end and then getting it into line up with a hole 
then push it through, then let it get in there, and then it, let, this is a, a, a solvent cement, so it'll basically melt the plastic together and actually give it a better bond. I think next time when I do this, these look kind of like they're floating a little bit. I should go in there with a Dremel and grind down the surface a little bit, but uh, it'll look okay. You know, once you throw some paint in there, and you know, this is orky. It's supposed to look like it's, you know, like you see this piece that's molded right there. This kind of makes it all kind of tie in better. So um, I'll do one more piece real quick, and then we'll end part three here. It's got a little piece. I'm using the .88 rod, and I believe that is maybe three quarters of a millimeter plastic card for the uh, this diamond plate, and then the uh, that plastic card is only a half a millimeter. And there you go. And that looks it looks really plausible. Let's see if I can get, cut those out yet. Are those? I don't know. Those are dry enough yet. I'm gonna let those dry a little bit. But you can see how the guy just put fits, fits right on there. Hides. There's no uh, unsightly magnets. I want to take them out. And uh, that's it. So I think we are done magnetizing the uh, battle wagon. Pull this back a little bit. We got almost everything on there magnetized except you know what? I just forgot. I still got to do that main turret thing. I got to figure something out with that. So, um, you know what, we'll keep this part three and just finish the magnetizing in this. So, um, we'll be back in a second. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this thing. How we're gonna get that. I want that to be magnetized on and off. I'm gonna probably put some sprue in here and then sprue on the ends, and then that'll lock that down. And then um, we got this other part up here too. We'll do some magnetization on there. So we got a little ways to go then, but um, oh, I gotta go that way. Goes like that. There we go. And um, thank you for joining me as always, and we'll be back. Thanks. Hey, I'm back real quick. We're still uh, <laughs> dragging on with part three here. I just wanted to show what everything turned out after um, putting those plates in. Uh, the gunner's feet are magnetized in. Let's see if we can go in there. Let's see how it all kind of. This works out perfect. I can probably sand down those bolts a little bit more, but those turned out good. Also, I wanted to show you um, that these other gunners, uh, I removed the, uh, the guns off of them and then cut the guns down, took um, some of the um, Shooter Boy rocket launches, and I'm cutting off all their hand pieces and I'm gonna have to redo the hoses. So uh, it's gonna sit in like this then I'll mount right there where the gun is and then I drilled out those bottom parts cut out uh, this part to the round and glued those together so we'll have a, uh, a rocket launch uh, kind of uh, gun setup so we can switch out those guys and have uh, the rocket launches as it's uh, according to the rules you can have those on these uh, battle wagons so I think that'll look pretty plausible I'm gonna get some kind of blast plate made up I don't know if I can find some. I'll go through the bit boxes, but that'll be in a, a later part. I just want to show you the thing on there. So this is done magnetizing. Uh, the end of part three, we're going to go into um, um, get this stuff primed out and ready to paint. So uh, thank you for joining me, and we'll be back with more videos. Thanks again.